Thank you once again for joining us on this Wednesday, the last uh, Wednesday of October. It's almost November. It's hard to believe. Although the weather is changing, it's getting a little chilly out there. Yes, it is. Time for coats. Well, I just wanted to uh, invite everyone. Uh, November 7th, which is the first Sunday of November, we are celebrating All Saints Day. And in the Protestant Church, in the United Methodist Church, a saint is simply a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ. So if you are a follower of Jesus, you are a saint. Well, on All Saints Day, we remember those in our church body who have passed away over the last year. And so November 7th, in both of our services, we're going to be naming and lifting up, um, remembering those people who have passed away from our church, those saints, those believers in Jesus Christ. So that's November 7th. On November 21st, at 4th, 30 in the afternoon we're going to elect our officers to the governing council so if you are a member you have a vote if you're a non-member you can come but you can't vote on that particular issue so again we're voting for uh, new members to be on the the governing council as well as the nominations committee so that should not take very long but that's going to be at 4 30 then at five o'clock we're having a hymn sing so if you like hymns uh, it's going to be a great evening. It's probably going to go about an hour. Um, so at 5 o'clock, we're doing the hymn sing. And then also the youth are baking cookies. Yes. And so there's going to be cookies maybe before and after the Thanks. hymn sing. So if you come <laughs> at 4.30 to vote on officers, have a few cookies, stay for the hymn sing, have some more cookies, <laughs> we would love to have you. So on the 7th, All Saints Day, we're going to be remembering those who passed away the last year. On the 21st, voting in the officers at 4.30. Hymns sing at 5 o'clock and plenty of Christmas cookies. That'll be great. Also, just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of you who donated candy for the daycare. They're having their uh, pajama party this Friday, and they actually have all the candy they need. So thank you all so much for your donations. They are still looking for a few other items, though. Uh, they're looking for some paint smocks, and I've heard from a source that you can find those at Dollar Tree. So if you happen to be out and about, they're also looking for silicone bibs uh, for their little ones. Those are really easy to throw in the dishwasher. So if you happen to, to be out and about and you see those things, uh, the daycare are looking Looking for those donations. Also want to remind you that tomorrow is First Responders Day. So if you happen to know of a first responder in your life, I know we have several here in our church, just reach out to them and say thank you. It's been uh, a rough couple years for them uh, with COVID and all of that. So we just want to say thank you to all of you who are our first responders. Now, lastly, I uh, just want to also let you know that, that as Bible studies, studies are kind of winding down for the fall, I know I've got a couple weeks left, uh, our Monday night uh, team only has one week left, they're just about done, but we have two new studies coming uh, towards you for Advent. So Pastor John and I are both going to be leading Advent studies uh, on Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock starting December 1st. So. Uh, Give us a call at the church office if you're interested or catch us on a Sunday morning. Uh, we'll have more information about those out and available very soon. Yes, and also our, our longtime nursery attendant, Kathleen, she lost her uh, fiance, Jesse Richards, this past week. Very unexpected. So please pray for the family of Jesse Richards. And, um, any other prayer requests? I don't think so. We have several new uh names on our list several that were mentioned on sunday and you can find that uh in our bulletin or also in our weekly newsletter or our monthly newsletter it actually comes out this week so be mm -hmm. looking for that and you can find that at faithumc.com mm -hmm. and, and we'd love for you to to look at that well let's just close in a, in a word of prayer most gracious god we thank you for your presence we thank you for your love and grace we do pray for for jesse richardson his family Dear God, at this unexpected passing, we just ask that you will lift them up and that you'll bless them in a mighty way. We pray for Kathleen and ask that you will um, comfort her during this time. Dear God, we thank you for this, uh, this Advent season, which is almost upon us. Dear God, it's, uh, it's hard to believe how, how quickly the year has passed, but all, already, um, we're, it seems like we're already looking at uh, 2022. But dear Lord, we, uh, we are just reminded that you're with us daily. We are reminded that, uh, that you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, just give us that eternal perspective, um, especially in the midst of death, that, that we know it's not the end, but that you have given us everlasting life. And so, dear God, over this holiday season, beginning with Halloween and then Thanksgiving and, 
and also uh, and also uh, Christmas. We just pray that you will bless us and, and be with us every step of the way so that we can be a blessing unto others. But God, we just thank you for all of these things. Um, we thank you for your presence with us, for your leadership, for your guidance, and also your love, just that unending and deep love that you have for us. Thank you for all these things. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. Bye, everyone.